Well, okay. Let's go to Goa. Eddie's second trip to Goa. He's 43. Mm -hmm. Exotic. Ancient scene. It is in Benares, yeah. A welcome break. To break up Eddie's return from Kathmandu to Goa. Becomes a life pattern. The hippies in the houseboat. <laughs> they haunt. <laughs> yeah. Along the shore of the Ganges River. Uh, the situation is romantic, uh, but the boats uh, themselves, funky, cheap, often no toilets of any kind. Uh, Eddie travels from Kathmandu to the Banaras, how both seen with Swedish teenager Inguela, mm -hmm. and to the straight Indian tourists on the uh, train. He explains, yeah, she's my daughter. Mm -hmm. Everybody could relax, I guess. Well, uh, Eddie and uh, Inguela hang out with the resident Benares freaks who are attaining, uh, uh, attending the world-famous University of Benares, studying sitar and, you know, the depths of Eastern wisdom there. Huh? Mm -hmm. Classical music, and then they smoke hashish while contemplating life and death at the Burning Gats. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, let me tell you about the Burning Gats. From my personal experience, you approach these uh, human burning corpses along the Ganges at night. The traveler must navigate a narrow passageway, twisting passageway, centuries-old alley. Shops crowd the, the, the passageway, thick with humanity, yeah. Last shops, all they sell is firewood. Mm-hmm. Mm. I was so stoned on hashish that this walk to the burning gas, <laughs> unforgettable, intense high, yeah. Well, Alice, uh, the kind of freak groupie up in Kathmandu, she tracks Eddie down. She follows him to Benares and unexpectedly walks onto his houseboat. She slowly looks around uh, the boat, the cabin, and approaching what a marvelous boat you have, Eddie. She drops her back. I'm staying here. Well, her appearance creates catfights now between Anguilla and Alice. Alice complains. You know that Anguilla? She's not aware of Eddie's greatness. She's not devoted to him at all, really. Uh, Alice projects onto Eddie. Uh, that he is an involved, great uh, endeavor, uh, avatar, uh, until Eddie shakes his head. Yeah, I'm constantly endeavoring to avoid work and to remain entirely unemployed. <laughs> oh. Well, wow, the houseboat Denison surprised when a Swedish diplomat I mean, this guy's wearing a suit and tie. What's he doing around here? Houseboat full of junkies? Oh, oops. Uh, Inguela's family in Sweden, fearful? She is dying from drug abuse. Oops. She's a legal minor. Inguela has no choice but to surrender and be deported back to Sweden. Uh, Eddie objects. Look, just let her stay here. The girl is just fine. You know, please. Uh, mm -mm. Well, that's it. Uh, Inguela, uh, he, he says, look, we've reached the end of our road together. Give me a hug. Why is Alice smiling so demurely as Inguela is led away by the Swedish diplomatic police? Why is she licking her lips? Well, from Benares, uh, seasoned India freaks that was traveled by train to Bombay. Yeah. <laughs> India, the largest train system in the world. And the cheapest, yeah. From Bombay, Eddie takes that overnight Chillum ferry to go. You've heard all about that already. Remember? to his beloved Culver Beach for a second winter season. Yeah, he stays with the same going family. I mean, he went up to 
Start out some stuff with American Express, Bombay Freak House, up to Kathmandu, let's trips, and then he's back at the beach. Where he was last winter. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Mellon Gones invite him to stay. Uh, they invited him, like, hang around for a few days. Well, he stayed three months. Right. Uh, and they begged him not to go to Bombay. People do f fall in love with Eddie. Natives, Europeans, whatever. He's just that kind of tender person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They sheltered him. Yeah, last winter, huh? He was the sole freak on the whole beach. Well, this this year he finds some bamboo uh, thatched uh, huts built by, by hippies uh, uh, from the natives. And, then, and the hippies are starting to rent homes from the Goans. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is when the scene became bourgeois. First, everybody built their own palm leaf uh, thatched huts, like I did. And then later, you know, I mean, $5 a month? <laughs> Why not? Have your own house. 